Hello everybody, today I'm going, going to show you how to configure new task or log a call um, on this activity tab on your account, contact, opportunity, or any custom object pages. So by default, what you might notice is your new task might not be visible under the activity, even though the new task is added to your page layout. So if I go to my new task, my account page layout, and uh, so the way you add those um, actions is from Salesforce one and lightning actions which is in lightning so this is the box we're looking at so we have new task here and everything else so post file link poll those only apply for um, your Salesforce one new task new contact is also for Salesforce one we'll go go into more details on different global actions so but new task is here but we, we still don't see our new task under the activity tab right so how do you fix this first thing we need to make sure is your task has any record type or not and what kind of new task is this meaning what record types of new task is this creating to find that out let's go to our home and those come from the global actions so we click on global actions set up global actions and this is the new task we are looking at so if we click on that and click edit and we see here record type master so it is going to create master record type all right all right so we are clear on that well and i see here i have task record types in my org okay so first we need to make sure the admin who is um, sorry the profile who is looking at that account page should have access to those record types now let's go back to let's go to the profile and see what record types of tasks do i have to access to if it is master then it should show it there so whatever record types you are looking here um, the task is configured for the same should the same record types you should have access to so since I'm logged in a system admin I'm going to admin profile <clears throat> and I'm going to all the way looking for task record types so what I see here is um, I do not have access to master record types and I have access to other record types so I'm going to move it away with master and save now let's go back to our page and try to refresh it there we go so now we see our new task right so this is a very um, minor thing but sometimes you might forget and this could cause us a lot of time waste trying to figure this out. Now, what if we want to give our act, um, our users access to the record types, right? So they might not need access to master record types. They might need access to uh, other record types of the task. So how do we fix it? Um, by default, the new task, which is um, available with your Salesforce R by default, is always master. But what you can do is create a new action. So I'm going to create a new task, create a record. I'm going to create a new um, global action. And that will be target object task. And record type, I'm going to choose field task, let's say. And um, label it as, uh, just to make sure uh, we don't mix it up with other one, I'm going to say task field. To avoid confusion, make sure you always have a, a different name than the other one. And save it. After we're done saving it, we need to go back to our, and this is the task layout. So this layout means when they create, click on new task, this new task, the window which appears with all the fields.
that's what uh, the page layout is for. So this is the page layout. All right. So if you want to add any fields, feel free to add them. But I'm going to save it. Let's go back to now. We need to add it to the page layout. Count and page layout. Count layout. And now we go to our Salesforce and Lightning One Actions. Click on task the action which you just created, which was task field. I'm going to add it right here somewhere. Um, let's add it right next to the task. Save it. Our job is not done yet, so we added that um, task field here, but we still won't see it. Why? Because we need to give access to that record type. So even if I refresh the page, since I added that, I'm not going to see it here still. So to fix that, again, let's go back to the profile. System admin and um, follow the same steps as before. We added the record types, and now I'm going to give access to field task. By default, if there is any record types, if you know about record types, if you give access to any other record types than master, by default, the master will not be available anymore. All right, so I'm selecting field task, save it, and Refresh it. There we go. We have now task field. And you might notice um, we don't have logger call anymore, which is again the same reason. You need to go back to the logger call and change the record type or create a new logger call. That's similar to this one. Um, for example, if your users need access to two different task record types and they need uh, both the actions right here, we follow the same steps and configure uh, new global actions for those individual task record types and then add it to the page layout. So that's just a quick um, tutorial I wanted to share um, with you all admins. Feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions on this and thank you so much for watching.